from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Friday the 11th of February. We'll start with politics and Scott Morrison was misled by some of his own party members about how they'd vote on the religious discrimination bill. That's a claim that's been made by Peter Dutton. It comes after five Liberal MPs crossed the floor to vote against the controversial bill. Here's what Mr Dutton had to say on the ABC. He was frankly, uh, I think, uh, misled. uh, I'm not sure how you want to describe it uh, depending on your perspective of the situation but there were undertakings that were given uh the undertaking uh, wasn't uh honored and that's who misled the him, like the five mps are you suggesting uh, well I'm, I'm not going to go into the private conversations that were had but the government uh, doesn't go into a vote like that unless there's been assurances given the government has now shelved the proposed laws indefinitely Moving on, a press conference by Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk was interrupted today. A man yelled at the Premier after allegedly being locked out of the state last year when he went to New South Wales to visit his dying dad. You failed me. I did everything, Anastasia. Your government failed me when my father was dying. I will never, ever forget. I did all the right things and your government locked me out. I did everything right, Anastasia. Yeah. I know, it's been a tough time for everybody. In other news, former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has got a new job. She's joined Optus in a newly created role as part of its executive team. It comes after Miss Berejiklian quit politics last October due to an ICAC investigation. And there's a tragic story from the US. A man accidentally shot his brother while trying to kill a bear on his property. He called police for help before he killed himself. To showbiz, the trailer for the new Jurassic Park movie has been released. Sam Neill, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum will all reprise their iconic roles almost 30 years after the original was released. Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? Jurassic World Dominion will hit cinemas in June. And finally, in TV news, it's been announced he'll feature on Celebrity Gogglebox Australia. Terry Bindi and Robert Irwin will be on the show, as will Dave Hughes, Julia Roberts, Matt Preston, Nazim Hussain and Hamish Blake. The one-off episode will air on Foxtel on March the 2nd. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your headlines from news.com.au. 